Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the connects and SQL Server stuff. Uh, in fact, this video is a second part to the Node.js uh, connection with uh, connects and SQL Server. In the previous video, we have already discussed and seen how we can connect Node.js with the help of connects and SQL Server. And we fired out certain kind of our select queries and seen how we can retrieve the data. This is in continuation to the same video and is the second part of that particular video where we are going to discuss about insert, delete, update and like the CRUD operations uh, to be performed within Node.js with the help of Connects and SQL Server. So let's uh, get on to the actual uh, environment and see how we can write those functions and can actually perform these CRUD operations in the real time. In order to work with the connects and uh, SQL Server uh, through the Node.js uh, and perform those delete, update or insert operations, let's uh, see uh, we have a table called as testdpt and uh, this table is a very uh, simple table with three columns. One is ID, D name and location and we have two records in that. So the first thing what we are going to attempt is uh, we are going to use the delete command and then kind of uh, uh, see how we can delete a record from the uh, SQL Server with the help of Node.js using connects. So let's go on to the uh, VS Code and see how we can write a function. So let's say we are writing a function for deleting a record and let's try writing it and normally whenever we try to delete any record uh, as per the database rules we must delete it with the help of a, an id key just in order to make sure we are deleting deleting the relevant uh, record otherwise if we don't specify a kind of a where condition or anything it might result into some kind of a data loss because we might uh, remove all the records so let's say we create a function delete demo and uh, we'll be passing on an id uh, to that and then we are going to use connects to delete this so this is a test dpt table and we'll say uh, where the id is let's say 13 and i'm going to let's say delete this I'll use this delete command and dot I can use a, a, a promise which it returns and then because when we delete it normally it would let you know how many records were affected because we are just deleting only one record with an ID of 13 so this technically uh, would uh, return count rows or records you get this uh, particular detail and then you can simply say console.log and we say uh, count rows number of records have been deleted that's one thing which we just want to do and the another thing is we just want to use the finally so that we can actually close our connects connection And that's how it goes around so this is a simple uh, uh, function where we defined a uh, connects query to delete actually an ID with the 13 record from a table named uh, test department and the promise actually returns you back the number of count uh, rows or whatever the variable you want to take it actually lets you know how many records were affected or have been deleted so that's what we are trying to do it in console.log and finally we are just trying to use the connects.destroy so that uh, it is cleared up from the memory so if we see uh, the test dot uh, test department table has only two records one is 10 and one is 13 and we just want to fire that so let's try to call this record or oh, sorry this function so delete demo and we pass on 13 as the id to that and let's see whether we are able to delete this or not so let's run that and uh, just need to go into the relevant uh, folder okay and then we just need to call this connects sql server.js that's the file name in which i'm working 
and let's see because we are only calling one function delete demo so let's see how it works okay so it says only one number of records have been deleted so just in order to verify whether the record has been deleted or not we can verify it directly by running the command in the sql server and we can see we get only one record so 13 record uh, number id record has been deleted so let's see now go on to the second part of it that is how you want to run the update query so the update query we also write uh, another function update in demo and uh, we just need to pass let's say uh, two things or whatever uh, because as i've got uh, two columns one is the department name and one is location this id is an auto incremented id so i want to change let's say the department name as well as the location uh, so i can change it with the help of an update query so i'll be passing on new department name and new location and let's see how we can use that so we say connects and then we have to use the same that is the uh, test department is our table name and then we say where so we pass on the id which is technically the 10 for which we are going to uh, update it and then we finally use the update we pass on the object where we are going to pass on the new values or anything so i'll say d name would receive the value with the new of new department name which will pass and then location would also be new location which will be passing it on within the function so that's how you can supply out your new values which we are uh, performing it within the function itself and then it returns out a then promise uh, which would actually let you know the number of uh, records that has been updated or not so we'll say count rows uh, we can just do another console.log to actually uh, see how many records have been uh, updated So as there is only one record which we are trying to update it so it would also essentially let you know that there is only one record that has been updated because we are just trying to update the record number 10 and then we would use finally to actually remove the connection so that the memory is freed down and the next object is destroyed okay so we'll just try to close this one and we'll now try to call uh, this function and that is update demo and we'll be passing it on so let's say we have already our department name technology and location is vancouver so we try to change it we give the new department name as marketing and we'll change the location as toronto and we'll just try to call this function again and see whether it is yes so one record has been updated so let's go and check it out if we execute it yes the records have been updated right so now the next thing what we are gonna discuss on uh, this is that is how to fire an insert query and uh, create a new record within the database or within the table so now the final part in which we have uh, the insert one so if we see we have only uh, one record in this that is 10 and this marketing and uh, location is toronto the id is an auto generated column so in order to insert that we'll create another function for the same so let's try commenting this out and create the third function insert uh, record so we'll say const insert demo and uh, because we'll be needing uh, two values one is the department name and the another is location and that will be supplied while calling this function so we say connects test department dot and we'll use one insert comma function 
and you need to pass on uh, all the values of the columns which you want to insert and remember that whenever we are inserting uh, all those uh, checks that have been applied within the backend or within the sql server like a validation check for null value not null values primary key they all would be applicable so let's say i just want to uh, give the value for d name as d name which is i'm supplying it and then location as location which i've supplied it and uh, once this insert command is run it would return i can use a returning id because i have an auto incremented id that would be used to uh, kind of a return back and see which id has been generated and then i can use the then promise to actually see that id that which id has been generated so let's use that console.log uh, we'll just say the record has been inserted and id generated is so we can specify the id which we are return which we are getting it through the uh, <coughs> promise then and then finally we also use finally so to close the the next connection and free up the memory so we we'll use this and this is all our function and let's try calling this function insert demo so we want to let's say insert a um, new department called as technology and let's say the location is vancouver so we'll just try to call it we'll run this and see whether this works yes so it does work and it says record has been inserted and an id generated is 14. so if we go back and check it out execute the select query so there are now two records this is the one which we used for updation and this is the one which we actually use it for insertion of a new record so in this way we have now seen how you can exactly see three different functions or they are popularly known as CRUD functions to exactly um, delete a record, you can even update a record or even you can insert a record within the particular table or within the SQL Server through the Node.js with the help of connects. I hope this video would be useful for all the people who are just starting off with Node.js and they want to connect with uh, uh, different kinds of database. The fundamentals of Connects would remain same even if you are going to work with uh, Postgres or Microsoft SQL Server or let's say SQLite but fundamentally the concepts would always remain same. So I hope uh, you guys uh, would uh, like this video and I'll be back with uh, more videos. Have a good one guys. Wishing you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you.